Thank you once again for tuning in to yet another video. Infamous San Jose, California. You guys know where I'm at. Beautiful, sunny California. Everything else, not so good. But let's get into the topic of today's ride. If you guys have seen my dealer walk around video, the final phase of buying a vehicle, buying a bike, I do mention you do not buy anything at the dealership. Get that coming out of my face! Now there's many reasons, but mainly one reason why you do not buy anything from the dealership is they're going to try to get you to finance that stuff. And if you saw my final walk around, the final, you know, walk around dealerships, the let's get to know you better, let's get you to know us better video, then you guys know do not buy anything. And the dealer builds, <clears throat> sorry there's a little bump back there, the dealer builds, those bikes are pretty much what I, I advise against. Now if you have the money and you want the warranty, you want the extended warranties, you want OEM performance parts, you want everything that benefits, all the benefits that you get from buying uh, from a dealership with all the parts already installed, then go right ahead. It's your money. You can do it. But just like Mr. John Harris has mentioned in, in a lot of my videos, he doesn't like my bike. Or You know, he doesn't like, it's not that he does it's not like, you know what, it's not that he doesn't like my bike. He just doesn't like these new M8, these new... Uh, no vibration, uh, Harley Davidsons. He believes uh, that that all of these uh, bikes are 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 against the tr the traditional Harley Davidson. And you know what? He he has a point. There's a lot of people that have that that view. And he comments on a lot of the videos, and he kind of says sort of the same thing about you know these are money pits. They're you know they're they're waste of money. And and honestly, it you know they are a bad loan. They are. Uh, they are, you know, technically they are an investment. I know I, I've said that before and a lot of people don't agree with that, uh, with that term. They don't agree with that. But technically, it's an investment mainly because you're, you're, you're pulling a loan. It's a, it's a bad loan because you're losing money on it. And then on top of that, on top of that, when you add all these bells and whistles on the bike, you're not adding any value to the bike. And this is why... Uh, the topic of today's ride is the, the dealer builds and this is this is the uh, the things that I advise against but like I mentioned if you have the money go right ahead and a lot of the times you're gonna see these bikes and they don't they don't post the actual price on the bikes they don't because we, we used to have these builds ourselves all the time and and we used to have some crazy crazy builds that they just added about fifteen thousand dollars worth of accessories worth of parts that that added no value to the bike or no value to the vehicle and it's true this is why I, I, I advise against buying these parts at a dealership and especially if you're financing the bike because once you take on that loan you're gonna owe maybe forty thousand dollars in the loan and the bikes only worth twenty thousand dollars and that's why in my other video I mentioned don't get gear, don't get, you know, the, your helmet, don't get anything at the dealership. They're going to have you finance that stuff and you're going to be paying uh, seven, eight years on on those parts, on that gear for, you know, for eight, <laughs> eight, seven years at, you know, whatever percentage that you got it at. It's not worth it. And then if you decide to sell the bike you're gonna be an upside down loan and you're, you're not gonna be able to get out of it you're not because the bikes only gonna be worth you know just depending it's already gonna lose about 10 to 20 percent off the get-go so instead of you know being in a bad loan now you're really gonna be in a bad loan when you have all these other new parts and, and a lot of the times not everybody has the same taste on 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 the build not everybody's gonna like the risers not everybody's gonna like you know the color scheme not everybody's gonna like the wheels depending on on what you're getting maybe they have their own preference on the seat maybe they they, they ride two up so there's no value on, on this on a settlement seat or a solo seat for them so it's just one of those things with the dealer builds is <clears throat> it's just one of those things with the dealer builds that you're you're really getting yourself in a bad situation when you're when you're buying them and especially 
especially when you're 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 going to be paying you know labor rate and on top of that you're going to be financing that labor rate and still on top of that you're also uh paying uh some some commission on top of it because the sales department they're going to want to make money off of all the labor they're going to want to make more money on top of all the parts that they're putting on the build they're 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 i mean <clears throat> You're, you're probably looking at 10 to 20 percent on top of you know all the extra services all the extra parts and everything else you're looking at probably an additional 20 percent and then on top of that you're still going to be financing these parts you're going to get yourself in a really bad position when you're looking at probably trading it in or you know upgrading or you know maybe you just kind of you know grow tired of writing and you just decide you know what it's not for me I'm gonna go ahead and, and sell a bike, and you're gonna owe way too much. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna have to pay to get. <laughs> you're gonna have to get paid to to sell it at at the at that at that point of time. So now let's go back into the dealer builds themselves. Uh, you see them, they'll post it, and on the MSRP on the sticker price, you're gonna see how much uh, how much their parts are gonna be. They're not gonna have. The actual price of the build, they're not going to be calculating the uh, the labor rate on the sticker price. And that 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 fee, they're going to hide it <laughs> in the dealer prep fee. Yes, I, like I said, I've seen it happen before. I I seen builds and I'm like, wow, that looks pretty nice. And you're like, wow, only three thousand dollars worth of accessories. Yeah, let's 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 go look at this. Uh, let's go look at this bike. Once they start doing the paperwork, once you start seeing the dealer prep fee, because that's where they hide a lot of the fees, the dealer prep fee, you're gonna see, <laughs> you're gonna see three, four thousand dollars of dealer prep, and that's kind of where they get you, uh, you know. And and they do make a point of it. It's like you know what, they're gonna tell you like, look, everything's already on the bike. You, you it's the way you want it. It's the way you 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 like it, right? You like the bike. Just get it. You you like you you like the way it looks, uh, and maybe you even I, I don't I doubt they'll let you test ride the bike, but <laughs> if they let you test ride the bike, they're nuts, especially on dealer builds. They're gonna twist it to the point where you're gonna you're gonna you might see some value in it. You might uh, you know believe what they're saying. You might be like you know what, uh, the bike's already finished. Everything's properly connected. And I get to buy extended warranty on, on all the goodies. Yeah, you know what? I think there is some value there for $6,000 worth of labor. <laughs> you know what? Let, let's go ahead and do it. Now you're paying $25,000 for the bike markup plus maybe an extra $10,000, uh, $15,000 worth of parts. Now you're buying a $35,000 bike that's only worth eighteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 once you ride it off the lot. And that's the way it works so the dealer builds are nice mad like low they have some really nice builds and you know what they're they're perfect machines they're they're being worked on by certified you know manufacturer mechanics you don't have to worry about anything peace of mind and like I mentioned when you go with OEM you know performance parts it's a mild performance gain yes mild M I L D I give book a math you know what I'm getting way off the topic let's just finish the video with uh, with you know what the dealer builds are nice they're absolutely nice Matt Laidlaw he has a lot of great dealer builds beautiful bikes but I I honestly suggest recommend you guys to try working on your own bikes try modifying your own bikes there's a sense of uh, of a uh, of, there's a sense of uh, of gratification when it comes to you know seeing your own work. People kind of see my my bike and they just kind of mention, hey, you know what? That's a that's a good looking bike. They kind of tell me, you know what? And and I feel I, and I honestly feel some kind of sense of pride by t by telling them, you know what? I, I did everything myself. There's there's a there's a satisfaction in that when you know you get a comment on the bike. Except for the saddlebags. If you get a comment on the bike, and you kind of tell them, you know what, I, I installed it myself. I, you know, I did it all myself. And if you've seen my videos, you guys you guys see that I don't have a fancy garage. I don't have a, a, a lift. I don't have 
a compressor. I don't have any fancy tools. I don't have anything. All I had was, you know, a couple wrenches, a couple uh, 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 ratchets, you know, just stuff that, you know, anybody can go to Walmart, anybody can go to Home Depot and, and buy this stuff. So there's there's some sense of, of pride in that. And that's why I kind of, you know, mention, you know, do it yourself, try it out. Eventually, there's going to be a repair down the road where you're going to need some some comfort on knowing how to work on the bike, and and it's always good. It's always good to uh, to familiarize yourself with the bike with your with your you know with your partner. <laughs> it's always good to kind of know you know how it works, and it's good to, to kind of tinker with it. It's good to to have some sense of security, knowing that you're not going to break it because you've already done. You know stuff that you thought it was gonna break the bike, and you're and you're already past that that fear of uh, of you know what I don't want to I don't want to break my bike I don't want to do this I'm afraid to move that I'm gonna you know what if I can't put that back or what if once you start putting all this all these modifications on the bike you're you're just you're gonna have a little bit more comfort a little bit more uh, sense of security that you're not gonna break the bike when you start you know taking stuff off. You know, it was, it looks scary seeing the bike without the tank, without the bars, and all this other stuff. Yes, it's it's a little scary, but trust me, guys. You guys are are gonna have some pride working on your own bike, and you guys are gonna save a whole lot of money, a buttload of money. We're talking about thousands of dollars you're gonna save by you you working on your own bike. You guys go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. I know most of you guys are do it yourselves, and I know some of you guys just bought the bike. Know, and had everything installed by the dealership but go ahead and leave your comments down below let me know if you guys wrenched on your bike or are planning to uh, to do some some kind of modifications onto the motorcycle onto your guys's bike maybe you guys are planning a, a, a huge build just go ahead and leave leave your comments down below let me know what you guys have in mind and you guys just stay out there stay safe stay vigilant uh, don't believe everything you read and and uh, just enjoy the ride. Get out there and ride. Life's a risk. Get out there and, and get the bike. Get out there and ride, guys. Later.